So you've been looking around for your um, candy canes, guys, or what? Well, I gave up. We looked yeah. for candy canes. How much time did we waste looking for candy canes? <laughs> this guy's in us on a wild goose chase. We're looking everywhere for bloody candy canes. Oh, oh my what? God. I've got, a few. I've got a bit of a stash here, so. Wow. Yeah. Enough to make a couple more pods. Magic trick. So, yeah. Um, and obviously plenty of postbacks around, so. This is the new, what is it? Amazon have got their own system they're looking at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Australia Post is doing it a bit differently because Amazon have designed a dedicated quad for that purpose. Yeah. Whereas Australia Post have decided to go with the Christmas theme using candy canes. Just for the Christmas and um, obviously period. A proper official yeah. Australia Post pack. Yep. So this is, you know, the real deal. So I'd just like to show you there's a fair bit of twist. Okay, if you look at the, the arms, how much they twist there. But once you pop the um, the cap on, you know, it actually becomes like an integrated stiffener. Uh -huh. and, um, doesn't move around at all. Sweet, so sweet. It's quite important to get that fit right and use the same cap. Okay, so we'll put the uh, battery in there. So I purchased a 2235C battery for okay. this application. Uh, Is that foam salt floats? Well, yeah, that was one of the factors actually. <laughs> I, did, I, did, I did deliberately make it out of foam so that it does float. Um, I'll just grab one of these guys because I've had my fair share of uh, stuffing up batteries lately. Okay. I never let batteries go flat, do I, Tom? No, <laughs> never. It's really easy on a quad. Okay. You know, I'll tell you what's easier. What? When you get a battery and you plug it into your ground station yeah. and you have a fantastic flight, you come back, you're so excited because everything's gone so well. Mm -hmm. And a couple of days later, you look and you realize it's still connected. <laughs> <laughs> the voltage level seems to really drop in a major way. And <laughs> so how did it go then? Did you manage well, I, to save the battery? I charged them as a nickel metal hydride for about 30 seconds and that gave them enough juice to get them going. Wow, I'd really trust that on the field. <laughs> Not that I would recommend that. I should probably edit that out, shouldn't I? Yeah, it's really tight in here. Look, I'm just using the... Um Oh, you're using the, the KK. The, I like your. I'm using sleeve. the KK too. Yeah. What do you think of the KK? It, it's pretty good, actually. It, I think it's it's as good as the multi wing anyway. Yeah. I think some of the latest features they've got. Well, I think really it's good that you can just do updates and modify settings really, really quickly. Yeah. Look, it's a lot better on the field if you want to adjust some settings. That's for sure. Well, the good thing about it is now that you've got the KK, you're going to become an expert at it, and then you can learn me. <laughs> I'll see. I'll see. <laughs> How to use it properly. Yeah, but um. Oh man, that looks really mean. You can see that. You yeah. can see that. I don't know whether you can see that, but. It's lit up through there. Um, this is, this yeah, is the cake. Like, it looks I'd awesome. Probably need another um, another Velcro strap in the middle. Anyway, so that's the that's the quad so far. And Look. all I'm going to make now is just some sort of integrated thing for the GoPro, so I can just plug it in. Okay. You know, so how's it being held in right now? Oh. Sorry. How's it being held in right now? That's no, good. This is this it's is good. sophisticated. So this is about as light as you're going to get on any any quad. I May I? Oh, okay. That's I mean, not bad. It's, it's under um, it's under a kilo. It's about nine hundred and twenty. Oh, that's good. Like that. wow. Grams. So fully loaded. You know, ready to fly. All we need to put on it is uh, is one of these, and I'm going to use the GoPro. I know to know now. I'm going to use the GoPro for FPV. Oh, okay. You know, Sweet. Just to save on weight, and I, I just I just want well, to keep it straight. You can always replace it with another post pack. <laughs> Yeah, it's fucking a costume. Wait a second, how much did the fuse large cost you? Uh, it was about three dollars. Did you buy it brand new? <laughs> yes. Oh I did. really? I did. So it's a real it's legit a, it's brand not new. Recycled, oh so, okay. Uh, yeah, and the candy canes were two dollars. Okay. If you can find it. Okay. Yeah, they're just about impossible to find. Jamie's probably mass producing them somewhere. Okay, stand clear, please. Well, that feels really light, doesn't it? Let's get Thomas. No. She no. looks really agile. Am I correct in saying that? Well, it is, but uh, I don't really like flying in this confined space. Oh, especially with the sort of turbulence you get here. Yeah, it's quite windy. It's got a bit of grunt, but again, I'm a bit. Are you recording? Yeah. 
Okay. She seems pretty um. So I mean it's all right. It flies okay considering there's a bit of wind around. Yeah. And um, hopefully the footage is good from it. It's just got a little bit of mastic there. So is that um, eliminating the jello or not? Taking yeah, it does take out the jello. And uh, still needs a little bit. Have of you uploaded stuff. any footage from it yet? As in uh, no. footage from the camera itself? No, I haven't. Okay. But, uh, we can have a look at it now. Okay, I'm interested in seeing that. Yeah, but uh, look, I really like the fact that there's there's nothing hanging out of it, you know, and I think it's going to go well, like high speed. Yeah. You know, you're not going to get a, a lot she of She seems very, resistance. very agile. Yeah, so once I get this 3D printer, I can make some really nice, you know, fairings for the ends and some nice motor mounts and nice, uh, yeah. you know, GoPro mounts and stuff like that for it. I'm looking forward to what you come up with. Yeah, it'll be like, I think it'll be a really nice kit where you can just sort of clip it all together. Yep. Um, anyway, we'll see how we go. So, we've still got about another month for that. To, uh, so, what is it? The flight tests have got rotor bones. Yes. So, what's this one? KK bones? I guess so. Well, there's. <laughs> no, candy, candy bones. Yeah, candy, candy crush bones. Candy crush bones. So, yeah, probably. Um, Everything's got their rotor bits. I think I think in the next couple of days we want to start looking for candy canes. They'll be on sale. Well, look, okay? I, you, so said, gonna... you, you said this last year, and we went everywhere. And I don't know how much we must have spent on fuel driving around <laughs> and eating takeout because of it. Yeah, oh, well, it. You know, look, it's really hard to find this material. I wouldn't even know where else to buy this material. Well, it's from. really stiff, isn't it? But it's really light, also. Yeah, you know. I've, I've asked around and um, I don't even know where they'd sell this material. I, I like the way you. I don't know how well you're going to sell it on GoPro, but what he's done here. Hmm. That looks really, really impressive. impressive. Yeah, Was that heated or something? Yeah, quite easy to do. You just put some, uh, you put a piece of wood in the middle. Yep. And just heat it up with a, with a heat gun and and press down with a bit of wood on top. So, so as the two bits of wood come together, it just forms a nice flat surface. Brilliant. So yeah, no, it's quite easy. Sweet. There you go. And just some cable ties. So the motors break off when you crash land. And, uh, this is probably the most ideal quad to be flying today since it's Christmas Eve. That's it, that's it, it is. All we need is a Santa on top. That's it. All right. 